Hi, I'm Joe, and you're watching In Joke. This is episode 2 of Jenny D's character challenge, in which you're supposed to make a collage that represents a place that's important to your character. This episode really showed me how well this challenge works, and I hope you enjoy my thoughts on it. Like I said in the intro, this day, this challenge, this episode in specific made me realize how well this challenge works. To even start the collage, I needed to figure out what place was most important to Mechanos. And that just got me thinking about his backstory. I went through the whole backstory, just like the cliff notes, uh, orphaned. He had to scrounge and survive for for a couple of years till he met Koensha. And then after that, he started working legitimately at a garbage dump, became an inventor, and got placed under house arrest. So through all that, it's kind of just hard to like... He doesn't specifically have like a home, like a building that's very important to him. But looking through his backstory, I was able to discern that garbage, <laughs> ironically, garbage, was the most important place to him. And through that, I actually, like, garbage is kind of symbolic to who the character is. He had to scrounge for what he needed to survive. He dug through trash. That's how he met Koensha. He was digging through trash outside the tavern Koensha was drinking in, and they met, and that was like the first turn in his life. It's where he chose to turn his life around, become a legitimate person, and try to help people. So for my collage, I decided to go ahead and just do, this is very ironic, garbage. Like garbage cans, the garbage can outside the tavern transferring into the garbage dump that he started working at and in the middle is a shack. The shack is where he currently resides, where he is under house arrest. However, it is also just close enough to uh, piles of resource, the garbage yet again, that he uses in his inventions. The garbage seems to be more symbolic than I actually intended it to be. It is representational of his resourcefulness throughout his entire life. Because he was only left these scraps, he had to maximize their potential in his life, like what he could use them for. That led him to, you know, doing a few less than reputable jobs for a while and digging through the garbage to survive, up to using this thrown away, discarded material to create these great yet destructive inventions. So, it's just really amazing that I, I could never have thought of that unless I started playing this character. Unless I started playing this character, I would have eventually stumbled into this. I wouldn't have known this about the character itself, playing through it in a game of Dungeons & Dragons. Instead, now I have time before I even start using this character in a game to think about like his circumstances, what drives him, and what is his core... I, yeah, what's the core of the character? And it just turned out to be resourcefulness. It is because of where he was, what surrounded him, and how he chose to use it, that this character is who he is currently. And I'm just impressed that this challenge was able to even just bring so much of a meaning to garbage. Either way, that's the full reason why the collage is just... First of all, bottom left, the garbage can behind the tavern with a picture of Cohen to the side, showing the important turn in his life. Behind that is an arrow that then leads to a landfill, like the garbage dump he used to work in. And in the middle is 
the shack. The shack is supposed to be close to the landfill, but I think putting it in the middle, like the center of his world currently, it's where his mind gets to be free, it's where his mind gets to work. And at the top left, we just have Mechanos. This entire thing is his core. It's part of his motivation, it's part of his rebirth. And yeah, I would never have reached here if I wasn't doing this challenge. I'm just impressed by that. Wow, yet again, I just have to say I am shocked, I'm surprised, and I'm thankful that this challenge has brought a lot out of me and the character of Mechanos, a lot more than I was expecting it to. And if you want to see the collage that came from day two of this challenge, I've made a post about it the same time I'm releasing this video. Hopefully I timed that out correctly. And if you want to see the other videos in this series, please click up here to the left where I have a playlist full of them. And if you want to check out the new shorts I'm releasing, here's a playlist of that too. And if you want to catch what's coming next, please hit that notification bell and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and joke out!